In this video, we're going to talk about auto select action and auto select tool, a powerful function that is combined with a lot of the buttons in Infinite Retouch. If you don't have Infinite Retouch, again, please download that from infinite-tools.com where you can access that and uh, download a copy for yourself. So for example, let's just go to the Retouch tab here. And instead of just clicking on normal, we're going to right click to access the functionality here, the first menu. And we'll use Healing Brush as an example. Let's say that um, you know you have the normal blend mode, which is standard. And if you haven't seen this video before, please check out um, the other videos, which allows you to get a full access and customization video overview on how to modify these things and what they do. But specifically with auto run action, let's say that you have this button and by default, when you click on it, it only adds that normal layer. Well, you can spice it up a little bit by also adding an action. So for example, let's say that you have a healing layer, but on top of that, you would like to trigger an action. So for instance, I'm going to come over here and click on it and opens this window. And it's going to say what actions you want to run. Well, first you have to pick the action set. So I'll just use my actions as an example. And then it asks you for the specific action. So first it asks you for the folder. And then it asks you for the specific action. And I'm going to say, let's just say uh, grain, because I use grain a lot and it's a good example to show you. I'm going to say apply. Once that's done, you don't have to do anything else. I'm going to say back. When I click on it again, you'll see that it adds the normal healing layer as well as runs the action that I have in my actions panel. Let me show you something really quick. If I go to window actions and I exit my button mode, you'll see that this grain is the action that I ran. And you'll see that my actions is the group name. So if I come back here into normal and I right click and I go back here, it says auto run action. You'll see here my action set is this group and the action is the individual action within the group. And that's the hierarchy in which you need to actually select it in order for you to find the action. That's very important. If you click on here, try to find the action, you're not going to find it. Okay. And that's it. Um, that's auto run action. This can be used for many things and we'll obviously make videos about this as well. And it could be very cool to see how other users combine the auto run action with the individual layers to come up with something very interesting. Now, also we have auto select tool. This is where it gets really fun. Let's say that, you know, you created your, your healing layer and I've reset my auto run action. And instead of having whatever tool being selected that you were last on, you can tell it to select the healing brush as my primary tool. Again, this window will come up and ask you, what tool do you want to select? So I'm going to say healing brush tool and say apply. And then guess what? If I run it again, now my healing brush is selected automatically, ready for me to go. But wait, it gets even cooler. So if I click on that again, let's go back to auto select tool, healing brush. Great. Now you can also determine your brush presets. So if you have a specific preset you always want to start out with, you can go there and do that and say, I want the healing brush to be nine pixels and then apply. And if I do it again, it sets up the layer, sets my healing brush and my healing brush is set to nine pixels. Here is it that honestly just blows my mind because now I can set my layers and get right to work without modifying or changing my shortcuts or anything like that easy. Another cool part, if I go back to auto select tool area, if I click on it, you're going to see primary and secondary, which means that if I say for, you know, speed of use, I say clone stamp as my secondary tool and say apply and say back. What happens is if I hit um, alt or option, and then I click on um, normal, you'll see that now my clone brush is selected. So you can decide if you hit alter option or you don't hit alter option, what tool is going to be selected. So each of these buttons gives you so much different functionality. And don't forget that in the edit area, you can change your button name, group name, and layer name. So between all of that, you have the complete control in order for you to really modify what you're looking for. And if you're trying to save any of this stuff and you're like, I hope I don't lose it, Simply exit the area until you get the gear icon, come back and you can back up and import 
as well if you're trying to get someone else's settings. If you're not familiar with this, please check out the settings uh, video, which you can also learn an, about all of this stuff. So I hope that helped. Again, we covered the ability to right click and change the auto run action and auto select tool, which is available on most of these different buttons here, which I think all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, there you go. You can also do that for the create button when you right click and you can say auto run action. And again, I personally use that for my grain because in my um, action set, I always add grain. So, and because you can't save pixel layers in the create function, um, this is, allows me to do that. So there you go. If you are confused about the create button, please check out the create video because that is where you're going to understand what I mean by pixel layers and the things that it cannot save. Okay, so hope that helped. And I'm very curious to see which actions you're going to be pairing with some of these user functions. That is going to be what really sets off Infinite Retouch to an entire different level.